seconds, just two seconds. I'm living proof we can lead healthy and active lives without dairy, eggs, or meat. The truth is veganism is the key to minimalism. Animal agriculture is destroying the world that all of us live in. And a factory farm is nothing but an animal prison. They live in a hell because of people's ignorant decisions. There's no necessity for murder, torture, deforestation, depletion of resources up in your recipes. Rest in peace to the old ways of living. Gone is the dogma in the awful traditions to evolve is the mission. Hey, everybody, what's up? gestation crate. She has some foam coming out of her mouth because she's not in very good health conditions. It's approximately 107 degrees in St. George, Utah. It is not comfortable by any means. When you see a truck like this passing you on the road, don't hesitate to stare inside, take photos, and really feel what the animal is feeling inside of those crates. Open your mind to every aspect of the livestock industry, how these animals are, how, they, how their life begins, and how their life ends. Certainly, is not an open farm. It's not um, a considerable amount of care whatsoever. So keep that in mind when you see one of these pigs sticking their nose outside of the cage, just trying to get the last bit of fresh air that they're ever going to see. So thank you. 
going on everybody? Much love and peace. It's the ant dog. Check it out, man. You wouldn't leave your dog in a car on a hot day. If you saw that in a parking lot, you'd probably bust the window open to try to save that dog. But standing behind me is a couple of slave cage livestock trailers where we're transporting thousands of pigs from factory farms to slaughterhouses. These animals, they, they're traveling across state lines for hours on end in these hot metal trucks with no food or water and it's super freaking hot. You love dogs and, and you try to save dogs when they're in these conditions. But when it's a pig, which is equally as intelligent, if not more intelligent than dogs, who have personalities and love in their heart, you know, you, there's a sense of cognitive dissonance. You draw a line and that's speciesism. Why love one but eat the other? Why cherish and treat one like royalty and the other one, you know, bacon jokes proves intellectual disaster. Which one are you seeking first? Heart disease or colon cancer? Eat a plant-based diet. Do it for your health. Do it for the environment. Do it for the animals. Much love. Much peace.